So here we are. We're going to talk about multidimensionality as a key aspect to systems thinking, and that systems exist on many levels um, in both time and its space, and uh, actually different paradigms, different dimensions um, of that system that we need to be considering. So as opposed to a reductionist uh, paradigm approach uh, that tries to reduce reality down to a single uh, dimension, um, for example, explaining um, uh, something in terms of its very basic building blocks, uh, the atoms or, or uh, molecules or whatever they may be. Um, here we're saying, actually, we can't reduce everything down. There exist different levels in this system. We need to look on different levels. Um, so it could be, for example, we talk about, you know, the multi-scale nature to governance in the world, uh, that if we have a problem at a very local level, we may not be able to solve that uh, at that level. Uh, we need to look across the system at different levels, whether it's very local in our city, our region, our nation, um, but all are interconnected, um, and ultimately that global level to the system also. So... Multi-dimensionality refers to the nature of systems having multiple different patterns of organization across space and time horizons that form different paradigms. So it's not saying it's saying that you know they aren't just bigger things where we can ignore that scale. It's that actually each starts to have its own dynamics and so forth. Um, global politics is different from uh, national, regional, and so forth. And we need to understand the different levels and the interaction between them, but also over time, right? That we've gone through different epochs in time. Um, and those are different, different paradigms, different dimensions in and of themselves, but also across a system. Uh, if we take any system, say a water system, there will be, it's not just about water, it's all, it's about many different things. There's different dimensions in terms of the economic dimension, the social dimension, technological, environmental, and they're different paradigms in and of themselves. The actors in them see the system very, very differently. So it's having that appreciation that we can't just collapse them all down, reduce all the levels to one. Um, going back to perspective, we can't reduce the whole thing down to one perspective. We need to look at it from those different uh, dimensions and try and understand the system in that way on different dimensions in a um, an integrated fashion. Um, so this is an example here. It's a fractal structure, which talks about self-similarity across different levels. Um, we can see it in many different systems. It's a way of organizing complex systems uh, to, to manage uh, complexity through encapsulation. We can see it in our lungs, the way we have those branching out um, of the um, of the veins and so forth. Uh, we can see it here in this fern where a small element of a leaf is then uh, nested within a branch, a subsystem, which then takes the same form as um, the overall or plant in some way. And we see that in many complex, complex systems, networks that have similar patterns that repeat themselves at different scales, at different dimensions. And that's a, a fractal structure. It's the idea of uh, dimensionality uh, that we need to think about when um, working with complexity, whether it's in space like this, whether it's across time, whether it's across different paradigms in the system, uh, we need to be aware of and um, considerate of uh, the multidimensional nature of complex systems.